So, I mean, I am so privileged to be talking to a legend right now, and EGOT, uh, how does it feel to be honored here tonight? This is special. Yeah. This is really special because it's about women and power and women in power. Yes. And uh, I am just beyond thrilled to be on the same roster as these astonishing other women who are being honored as well. It's not just me, so it's great. Of course. Tell me about your charity and why you got involved. It's Rota Care, yeah. and Rota Care is a clinic that takes care of people who are uninsured. And it's a wonderful, you know, everything I'm sure that everybody has chosen is great. But this <clears throat> really is about uninsured people being looked after by professional medical people. And it's so these important, are, especially are, right now. These are clinics. There are about 10 of them. Yeah. And, and I help to fund one of them. Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So you have a lot of projects coming out. You have West Side Story, the, you know, the remake. Uh, that's happening in December, I believe, which is coming out a so couple also, of days before your 90th birthday? December in L.A. and the 29th in New York, I believe. Oh, 29th in New York. And I'm going to be 90 on December 11th. I don't, I don't believe it. After I'm the, sorry. After the movie opens. So. What are you doing to celebrate? Well, I can't do a lot with a lot of people. Yes, that's true. But somebody suggested something terrific. I can't do... I usually have a wonderful party with a theme and costumes. Right. But can't do that. So this year, somebody suggested something great. She said, why don't you celebrate your 90th year? And I said, in what way? He said, just have a party every month. <laughs> with, you know, with like five people or six people. Yes. And I think it's a great idea, or maybe every other month. Every, no, it's got to be every month. Every it month, okay. Every month. Yes, yes. <laughs> but isn't that a good idea? It's a wonderful idea. I'm going to celebrate, that's for sure. Yes, yes. Just a question of how. Okay. For sure, for sure. All right, so, um, I mean, being surrounded by so many powerful women here tonight, and then you broke so many barriers in Hollywood. Uh, but that doesn't come without its challenges, I know this. So what were some of those challenges for you, and how did you overcome them? The challenge just simply started with being Hispanic. And uh, and then I was a pretty sexy looking little lady. Still are. I'm sorry. Well, you saw my daughter. And your daughter. I that that's is, where she got it from. That is sexy. And uh, there was a lot of stuff going on with uh, executives and people like that trying to uh, seduce me. But that's a nice word. I mean, some people really tried desperately to... Uh, force themselves on me it was it was hard it was it was terrifying yeah. because I was sure a lot of these people were heads of studios and I thought I I'm not going to work again right if I re, if I turn these people down I'm not going to work again it was terrifying and it was sad thank you for watching if you want more extra hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video